I just want to say, I don't know if you, you guys know this, but I ran as a candidate as a spokesperson for the Black Caucus of the Green Party. And I was so proud because I thought, wow, this is a brand new day because um, I felt a little bit like Obama because, you know, have white skin. And I was chosen by that caucus to raise the specter of uh, racism and, you know, lack of diversity, but particularly racism in the left and the Green Party itself. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, people who have done that before me find ourselves smeared. And, um, you know, it's just tight and white in the Green Party like it is in every other party. So now I'm like totally back here on the street, (laughs) back here on the street by myself and still going to talk about it. Mm -hmm. Race is what really is going to determine this next election. Romney is a race baiter. And I mean, I really want to say that Romney and people and money has figured out how to like totally divide people in America on that issue. Because, you know, that helps money to keep people divided so that they, you know, go against their neighbors, their brothers, you know, so that there's just like as close to civil war in this country as there is in every other country where the United States has gone. You you recall, though, when Obama was was elected, since you referenced him and he was elected, we were told by the media that his uh, advent to the White House uh, was going to usher in an era of post-racialness in America. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what they were. Oh, yeah. That that was (laughs) that was the bankers you know, their strategy for that election. And their strategy, of course, for this election now is, you know, to whip up all all of that uh, Republican anti, you know, well, racism Mm -hmm. in America against Obama now. 